Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. <sighs> God, okay, I need a drink for this. Uh, it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. um, I can't believe- It's not dismal, it's uplifting. Yeah, it's sure. chicken sure. soup for the dungeon master's soul. Yes, there's a new book coming out that is basically a D&D flavored chicken soup for the soul. This is a real thing. This is not a joke. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was unofficial. No, it's not officially licensed. It's officially licensed. And this is on top of, uh, let's see, the officially licensed cookbook. Um, this is on top of the officially licensed uh, middle grade graphic novel series. This is on top of the officially licensed salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> This is on top of the officially licensed My Little Pony crossover toys. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons has become a lifestyle brand, mm -hmm. just like Marvel and Star Wars before it. It's no longer for geeks. It's no longer for geeks. It's no, no, according to this, it's to have, you could live your best geeky life. It says so right in the title. How to be more D&D, face your dragons, be more adventurous, and live your best geeky life. But I already am. You are geeky. I am geeky. And I had the name first. Anyway. Okay. I, I really, I got it. I got to calm down. I, I, I'm going to lose my shit. Really okay. that much? I, I... Okay. Well, I'll, I'll read the right up. Before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We're over 249,000 subs, Yay! almost 250,000. I'm sorry we're not living our best geeky life. I'm sorry we're not I actually I am. I'm, I am. But I am. I don't need this book. I love age range, 22 and up. That's a really odd age range. 22 plus. It that's really strange. It literally is chicken soup for the soul. I, that's the first thing I said to you when I said, told you about it. That's why I even told him. I said, honey, they're doing a book that's like chicken soup for the soul for Dungeons and Dragons. He's like, what? And I was like, yep. Okay. Here's here's the book synopsis from Target. Do you want me to read it? Because you're mad. No, I can read it. Well, you can read it if you want to. Go ahead. You can do the okay. condescending Karen voice. Go for it. I don't know if I can. I'm not laughing. Tackled life with advantage. Wait. Tackled life with advantage. With this officially licensed guide to, to life, inspired by the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Say what now? This playful, inspirational book invites fantasy lovers and fans of Dungeons and Dragons to celebrate and incorporate different elements of this iconic tabletop game in their lives and help them live their best geekiest life. Written by Kat Kruger, Dungeon Master, the popular Dungeons and Dragons actual play podcast, D20 Dames. Who? D20 Dames. Okay. Okay. You'll learn how to take the skills, knowledge, and sense of adventure from your D&D campaign to help you better understand everything from how you interact with the world around you to facing the random events that life sometimes throws at you. Like, oh my God, I was out down the street and I saw somebody being misogynist. What were they doing? They didn't like a movie I liked. With advice from the classic player classes like fighter, warlock, bard, monk, or ranger, and fuck? ways to take your experience as a player or dungeon master and use them in your day-to-day -day life. What the fuck? How to be more D&D also features interactive elements like building your character and dungeon master state of mind. Quizzes like, what is your D&D class? Oh my god, it's BuzzFeed. And paired with rich, full-color art from the world of Dungeons & Dragons. Whether it's building your real world character, discovering your ideal class and strength, harnessing the three pillars of play for everyday use. That sounds dirty. Or using role-playing techniques. <laughs> to your advantage. What was that? that? Well, you have to use role-playing techniques after you harness the three pillars. Um, how to be more D&D &D explorers, how to enjoy the campaign known as life. <laughs> ex ex excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <sighs> it is the perfect day. What the fuck is this shit? And it is a what is this shit? <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> it is a perfect gift for a tabletop gamer or D and D fan. Dungeons and Dragons D and D and their respective logos and dragon ampersand are registered trademarks Wizards of the Coast uh, and Wizards of the Coast all rights reserved. Um, but here's my favorite part: they talk about the author and the stuff that she's done and all that. Okay, cool. This is what I love the most. This is my favorite part of all of this. <laughs> I can't. 
I, I know that's why I'm reading it because you can't. I, I can. Should I read? Should I read? Just this? read the Dungeons Dragons. The, 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 this is the best. This part is of, the really anger inducing. This is part. the best. His face is so red. This is the best part of the entire thing. Is this Dungeons and Dragons launched the great tradition of role playing games in 1974 with an unprecedented mix of adventure and strategy, dice rolling, and storytelling. True. Wizards of the Coast continues to honor that tradition. <laughs> bringing to market a diverse range of D&D game and entertainment experiences and influencing numerous writers, directors, and game designers by tapping into an innate human need to gather with friends and tell exciting stories together. You're not being gatekept out by the people that are in charge now. Except for the fact that they have done everything they could do to disavow themselves from... And dishonor. And dishonor... The origins. The, the origins and the creators of D&D. Right. But now they're trying to claim that they're, that they're doing everything they can to honor it. He needs a moment. Um, that's what got me. I mean, besides the fact that I was like, really, is chicken soup for the D? Okay, I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. You know, when I read that, I was like, oh my God, that is the biggest load of shit I've ever read because they go out of their way to not honor... They're, they constantly are calling them names and harassing the original creators. I saw, yeah, they've gone out of their way to disparage the people who worked on Dungeons and Dragons. They've gone out of their way to disparage Gary Gygax, to distance themselves they from They keep Gary labeling Gygax. and aligning, and then they keep gatekeeping the hell out of everything. They, they I saw some people who work with Gen Con. Uh, they they had a, a Zoom call, the live stream, whatever. Well, one, they got Gary Gygax's name completely wrong, which is funny because he's it's the like one who's... like David Bowie? Yeah, it was <laughs> Gary Gynax, and he's the one who started the convention, right? Mm -hmm. Dumb bitches. Um, and then they were laughing about what a misogynist he was because they heard things. Right. But don't you know that Wizards of the Coast have gone out of their way to make sure they honor... And keep the gate to keep the original thing alive. Um, yeah, including throwing this this uh, disparaging legacy uh, warning, content warning on all the old TSR D and D mm -hmm. manuals. But that's okay. You don't need the old ones because they've got such great winners as this lovely. How you can go to college and go to prom? What a hot mess Magic College can be. Hot mess. Hot, hot L's in love. Mm -hmm. Just not, not drow because they're problematic. Right. So, the, but you know, so why you, <laughs> but that's why you need this book so you can live your geekiest, greatest life ever. And you can take everything that you've learned from playing Dungeons and Dragons and apply it to your daily life, which most people kind of like take things they learn from that and apply it to their life anyway. I mean, they don't need a book to tell them how to do that. Yeah. yeah. Poor Neon, is, I think he's going to pop something here. So, this this is kind of what happened to Marvel. Uh, this was Marvel's widely panned faux geek series that they put on freaking YouTube and it got downvoted to oblivion. All of these fake nerds. Uh, it's, I, I call it kind of a, the nerdist factor, right? Now, uh, the nerdist crew has, has moved on to Netflix geeked. You know, mm -hmm. same same mentality, these, these faux they nerds. They are, same people, yeah. And uh, this is what D&D &D has become. I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm open to let more people be allowed to play it. And I, I do like to see it get more attention and, like, have more of a, a mass appeal. That being said, I'm so tired of them acting like they just invented it. But then they have the, 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 uh, the gall to go and post on there that you know, Wizards of the Coast have been, you know, keeping it alive and honoring it, you know. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Bunch of fucking His bullshit. face is so red. Fucking bullshit. What a bunch of fucking bullshit. Uh, but that's okay. Is. If you want to learn how to have chicken soup for your dungeon master soul, this book's coming out next year. So that being said, uh, D and D is just a brand to Hasbro, and we've talked about this before. The reason I think they're ramping up a lot of the bullshit going on has to pay for itself. Has to pay for itself. Now they've done very well. The D and D brand, the D and D lifestyle brand, has done very well in the last couple of years. Well, because they only because they just now made it accessible to everyone. Here's the thing: if you ever played Dungeons and Dragons, it's always been accessible to everyone. I mean, if you wanted to make a campaign where you went to college and how went to prom, you could have done it before. It was never exclusionary. I give up. I just fucking... I, you I, broke me on! 
So the only bright spot, well, it's not really a bright spot. Uh, look, Wizards of the Coast is probably going to get sold here pretty soon. There have been many, many rumors that Hasbro is trying to give them as much curbside appeal as possible. And they're probably going to foist them off onto a, a, either a movie studio or a, a Chinese company like Tencent. This has been rumored for three or four years now. And the thing is, people are like, why would they sell them now when they're making lots of money? Because Hasbro realizes that D&D is going to peak during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And it's all downhill from here. So you sell them high. You sell it high. And you get the hell out. And, uh, and for it, a lot of people, it's just a passing fad. I mean, Yeah, it is. It's, it's become like, oh, my God, I D&D. I D&D so hard. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I just can't, I just fucking can't anymore. I uh, like I'm ev sorry. everything that comes out of Wizards of the Coast in regards to to D and D in the last two years, and I, I wasn't really paying attention until I tried to get the kids into it, and I saw how fucking weird the fucking scene is. It's all been just like they're it's for fucking Karens. Mm -hmm. I was not even for Karens. It's for Tumblr. It's for, it's for I wouldn't even call it Tumblr. It's for these these Twitter. Yeah, Tumblr and Twitter. And here's here's a pro tip, Wizards and Hasbro, and you need to learn this. And you will learn it. Oh, you will learn this lesson because everybody else is. They will turn on you in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. They will eat you alive. They will eat you alive because you will never be good enough. You'll never be pure enough. And, and well, not just I think it's funny that they keep re rewriting the history of it. Because, you know, I heard on my son said someone said on the internet, so it must be true. Oh, yeah. But that's okay. But now you can go learn how to live your bestest life. Oh, fuck you this. can be like me, apparently. Yeah. Awesome. So th thanks so much. Thank you so much. I mean, as if D&D &D wasn't uncool already. I mean, as if those of us who played it didn't get harassed enough when we were kids. You've just made it thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly uncool. Yeah, I know. I think that's funny because so many people got like... It was, it, everybody, it's been a joke in pop culture for years that if you played it back, you know, in the 80s and 90s and stuff, you were mocked, you were ridiculed, a lot of people hit it because they didn't want people to know they played it and everything else. And now it's cool. So they want to take it and say that they own it. When somebody takes your trapper keeper full of your character stats and your maps for this weekend's campaign and they throw it down the hallway and then the same person spits on you on the bleachers in gym class, sits on the bleachers and spits on your head. Because you're a nerd. Not that I'm saying that that happened to me, but it might have happened to me. That's when you've earned the right to call yourself a geek. Mm -hmm. Till that happens to you. No, well, don't you know everybody's against them? The world, the world, it's all about misogyny and istophobia. It's under every rock, it's around every corner. It's in my bedroom right now. Who's in your bedroom? Right I don't now? know. I'm just saying that's like, that's ridiculous. It's like they look. Even if it's not there, they go find reasons to say it's there. I, I, I so can't. they know more than you. But I just think it's funny too that the D and D they didn't even put D and D right. They had a lowercase D here. And then if you go out to the to the there's an Amazon for they have it on Amazon too. Oh, that wasn't it. Where did you have it? It's on Amazon too, but all the links are broken. They couldn't they don't even, even care. They don't care enough. And they put D and D in lowercase here too. Did somebody like, is that what they handed them for the text? Like they didn't even put the capitals on both of these? I just copy, copy, paste. And I, I think it that was. Somebody there did it wrong. Somebody there probably took a look at this shit and they're like, what a bunch of bullshit this is. Whatever. Copy, paste. Boom. Done. <laughs> oh, I mean, maybe it's books for you. And if it is, knock yourself out. I don't give a shit. Oh, I, I just think it's funny. It's, it's literally like chicken soup for the soul. The old books still play. They still work. You can still play by the old rules. You don't need to buy new stuff if you don't like what's going on. And look, if you like 5e and you're looking forward to the future of D&D &D where there's no combat and uh, all the monsters are good guys go and gals and other kin and you can go to prom and and, and just can all be friends. And we can all be friends and there's no combat because it hurts people and hurts people's feelings and it's it's uh, toxic and, and it's probably male. Uh, good on you, right? Good on you. But, but don't harass anybody else. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm not. But I didn't think this book was funny. It just was, it just I'm, struck me as hilarious. There's no way in hell I'm buying any Wizards D and D. Like it's not even D and D. It's D and D in name only. It's a reanimated corpse. Um, Which is something you also can play, I'm sure, in some of these campaigns. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. Are you okay? I'm just. It just gets worse and worse. I'm sorry, I shouldn't send it to you, but when I saw it. I was like, oh. I thought it was. I thought it was a Kindle book. I thought it was a Kindle book. Shit's real. I thought that's true. It says officially licensed right in the beginning. 
I give up. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Talk to you later. Bye.